Hey guys, this is Jave, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 3 slash 6. I am your host, Jave, and uh, last episode we had some nice dinner with the Empire. So now we are heading to Albrook, which we are already here. And we're going to meet up with uh, the rest of the General's troops to try to track down these espers. If this old man will get the hell out of my way. There we go. All right, so now all the uh, all the troopers are quite friendly with us. Yes, they most certainly did. Nondescript trooper number two. Ooh, free items. We like free items. We weren't uh, actually able to come into the harbor last time. All right. Ooh, and we get to uh, hang out with General Leo. I forgot about that. So who is this mysterious person? It is Shadow. And oh look, it's uh, Kutan slash Celeste. <laughs> I still have no idea what I'm gonna call her. Well, it's good to it's good that we see her alive and well. Even though things are a little weird between her and Locke. Dot dot dot. No, no run away. Oh, Locke is sad face. Well, that, that's reassuring there, Shadow. And fun fact, if you never once talk to Shadow uh, throughout the travels, like if you never talk to him when you're uh, first, you know, encounter him at the old man's house by the belt, uh, you will actually have to name him now. You know, in this, in, or not now, but when we were just talking to him, and he has slightly different lines. But obviously he doesn't talk uh, quite as familiar as he just did. I always like this music. It's quite fitting. Aw, oh, poor Locke. The emotions. There's so many emotions in this game. That's why I love it. Definitely one of my favorite, if not the favorite game of all time for me. Okay. So now that we have that out of the way, it is the next day. And let's get aboard that ship and hunt us down some espers. You know, it's a peace mission, of course. Hunt them down for peace. <laughs> yeah. So we'll head over to Crescent Island, which isn't really an island. Is it Crescent Island in this game? Or did they just say in the uh, northeast on the island? Even though it's kind of on the end of a peninsula. I guess there's slightly uh, there's a slight river running through it, so technically it's an island. Would be nice if we could run around with some of this sweet Magitek armor. Uh, okay. And we get a little bit more story. Yes, Terra certainly has grown up. Hmm? Ah, he's just feeling guilt. Oh, you're just young, Tara. At least I think you are. What is she, 18 in this? 
Yeah, exactly what Leo said. I had the uh, strategy guide and it gave everybody's age and bios and stuff. I'm pretty sure she was like, what, like 110 pounds too? You know, like six foot. Can't quite remember though. If the Johnny Mare wants to chime in and let me know. <laughs> Such a badass shadow. It's like, don't look at me. I'm just a cold blooded killer. Of my emotions. And then uh, one of my favorite scenes in the game. Oh, Locke has a spray back. Yeah, Locke doesn't do quite well on boats. <laughs> oh, shrouded one. Good old Ted Woosley. We have him to thank for that. <laughs> the uh, Game Boy Advance remake, they completely changed that around. and It's not its not as funny, or even funny at all, if I recall. But moving on, we have hit... Oh, or at least almost hit the island. Yes, Crescent Island, I was correct. So they're going to search one place, we're going to search another. And I wonder where they went, because, you know, Crescent Island is a pretty small area. Oh well, we got a job to do. Come on, Tara. Don't be lollygagging. All right, beach fall. So, and we'll just equip Shadow. I'm not gonna equip him with an Esper. I don't want him to learn magic yet. And that will uh, make sense later in the game. But, we have actually already been here. This is uh, the earlier when we were stealing all those Gaia gear. So let's head on into town now, Thamasa. And let's do some investigating. Seems like not many strangers wander through these parts. So I'm going to pick up a couple ice rods, and I think that's it. I don't really want anything else. And ooh, a mystery veil. That is a very nice piece of armor for the ladies. Or at least Terra. And we already have full guy gear, maybe a gold shield. Just so I have three. And the mystery veil I'm probably going to keep on Terra for a very long time, because I mean, those are some nice stats. And let's uh, explore the rest of the town a little bit. Item shop has your normal item shop items in it, but I think there is an old lady. Yes, an older gal. Okay, not quite useful. Checking Z pots. I know there is something right here. Yes. Hey, let's see what the relic shop has to sell. Hmm. Dragoon boots, but we already have two. We're, we're pretty good on relics. Hello there. Talk to the old guy that lives on the edge of town. Alright. Well, at least we have uh, some sort of lead. Should we stay at the inn? Ah, uh, not for 1500 That's a little pricey. Aha, echo screen. Whoa. And then we have the elder's house? Maybe he knows something. 
No, he seems to be a little clueless. Well, I wonder... Hmm. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Well, that's certainly suspicious. What, more? Now that's even more suspicious. And plus, uh, kids probably shouldn't be playing with fire in the woods. Or at least behind a house that looks slightly flammable. Just saying. So then let's uh, let's talk to this old guy at the end of town here. With a uh, badass mohawk. Look at that mohawk, it's awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna have a mohawk when I'm 70. It's been decided. It's gonna happen. I mean, assuming I have hair left. Maybe we'll get like a mohawk wig. Well, you're not much help either, Strago. It's awfully suspicious. Ooh, who do we have here? Poke, poke, poke. We have Realm! Strago's granddaughter. A quite energetic youth. Magic, huh? Yeah, I've always liked Realm. She's funny. <laughs> it's definitely a little suspicious that Interceptor has such a fond attachment to her. Even Shadow seems a little sus suspicious. Well, we already had a look around, so we might as well just turn in for the night. Just stroll on out. Let's hit the hay. And apparently the innkeeper has changed his mind. That's quite a discount. Meanwhile, throughout the night, uh oh, we definitely cannot stand by while a little girl is potentially in trouble. But apparently, ninjas are very heavy sleepers. Like that lovely red hue on everything. Oh look, it's the house that the kid was playing with fire in the back of. I totally did not see that coming. Well, that's certainly handy. Doesn't seem to be working though. Uh, 
I think uh, it needs a little bit more oomph. Oh, don't forget the uh, old lady. Save realm! Okay, so that didn't work. Fire rods, huh? Likely story. Alright, so let's head into the house and save Realm. So now we have Strago in our party. His uh, special ability is basically blue magic or lore, and he already starts with a couple. And you can learn more uh, blue magic from certain monsters. So let's go ahead and give him an Esper. Might as well give him a uh, Maduin just to give him some magic level ups. And I'm going to give him a Genji Glove and Earrings. And I bet you're thinking, why the hell... Actually, I'm going to give him a Hero Ring. Why the hell did you give him a Genji Glove? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because we're going to give him double ice rods. And let's give him a silk robe just for that little extra magic power boost. Put him in the front row. And let's go to town because in this, uh, I guess, dungeon, all we will encounter are balloons, which are a fire elemental based baddie. Basically, a bomb uh, palette swap. Not even a palette swap, just a name swap. And these guys will use Exploder. And let's see if I can uh, trick him into using it. I don't think I have confused though. Now I'll do it on the next one. And I have uh, Terra with the... she had, I believe she has the Blizzard equipped, so she's also going to do some pretty good fight damage. And I'm doing all this basically to conserve my MP for the boss. So let's see here. Let's see if we can get uh, Strago to learn a new lore already. Confuse! Okay, apparently not. Look at that massive damage he's doing. Gotta love those double... double ice rods. Oh, screw it. I'll come back for that uh, later, but sometimes if they are confused they will use Exploder and then Strago will learn it simply by watching them blow themselves up. And yet more balloons. They are pretty much the only enemy we are going to face in here. And whoops, wrong door. And of course we are now in a pincer attack. So I'm going to try one more time to see if I can uh, confuse these guys into using Exploder. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it's a 50% shot. Oh, here we go. It's an easy way to take a couple of them out of the fight. If you use the uh, Stray Esper, or the Esper Stray, I guess, it'll confuse them all in one go. And learn Exploder, yay! I'm never going to use it, but... But Stray will confuse them all at once, and maybe they'll all blow themselves up. Who knows? So, we got a fire rod. We are not going to equip that here. Whoops. I was trying to run back in the door to basically avoid that fight. And now that I'm talking, that means I can't cut this fight out. Oh well. You can all watch this additional fight, and I'll cut out the rest. Because they're all pretty much the exact same fight, over and over. And for some reason, this, uh, the boss of this level gave me a hell of a time as a kid. I don't know why. I think it's because when I used to play this when I was young, I would never level my guys up. And I definitely paid the price, because this guy was my wall. Like, I could not beat him. And here we are, the boss! Flame Eater! And he will summon his little bomb buddies. He'll periodically do that throughout the fight. 
And of course, he is weak to water and, uh, you know, ice. So I'm just gonna straight. I'm just gonna attack him and put up some defenses. Look at that. And fun fact, he is immune to. Whoa, he is immune to death spells. Or he has death protection, so you cannot hit him with like dem demi or quarter. Even though there's no way you can actually get those spells at this point in the game. But, if for some weird reason, you had access to those spells, and you hit him with a Demi or a Quarter, he would counter with a Flare, or a, uh, or a Quarter attack of his own, which is kind of interesting. But since you have, you do not have access to those, you will never see that in his battle script. Isn't useless information fun? Wow, I really need to kill these guys off. Or just start healing myself. Look at that. Morph Terra does some damage. I think I'm just gonna focus on Flame Eater. This should do to, uh, this should do over 4,000 damage to him. There we go. And that's the end of that. See how easy that was. Good job, Terra. And I guess you too, Strago. Way to be a great uh, decoy. <laughs> He's full life now, though. Of course, she's in the very last room. What is it, boy? Did Realm fall down a well? And we all pass out. Probably from smoke inhalation. Get him, boy. The flames, they're alive! That was a total anime ninja move right there. I mean, it wasn't awesome. Don't get me wrong. It was awesome. It wasn't not awesome. Is that what I was trying to say? Whatever. Don't uh, don't listen to me. <laughs> I can't speak ever. All right. So apparently, smoke bombs work in uh, smoke inhalation areas. Sweet. Okay. Moving on. Why do you look so sad, Shadow? Do you know something you are not telling us? Perhaps you are struggling with some inner demons. The village of the mage warriors. Aha, uh -huh, so these guys are ancient magicite users. Makes sense. Oh, witch hunts are never good. Yes, sir, we are. Oh, come on. You are a total fuddy duddy. Mountains to the west. So we have our next goal. Alrighty. And real quick, if you check over in the corner here, we receive a memento ring. And only two people in the game can equip those. And we will discuss that at a later point. Uh oh, it's the shadow music. That means he is out of here. Oh yeah, that's typical nonchalant shadow.
Well, see ya. I'm sure our paths will cross once again. Alrighty, so with that, I'm going to call it an episode. Thank you very much for watching. Next episode, we are going to head to the mountain and see if we can locate these espers. So until then, see you next time, guys. Later.